watching Lifetime Television. Hi, everybody. I'm Louise Duart. heard something that's really hard to believe about one of the famous people who shop along the street. Jimmy Baker wears makeup even when she sleeps. <laughs> Could this be true? Well, we'll find out on the street of stunning stores and stories where the glitter meets the dirt, Rodeo Drive. And hoping to stroll down Rodeo Drive today are, from Torrance, California, Kate Miller. California, Paul Thompson, and from Pella, Iowa, Midori Myers. And once again, here's Louise Duart. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. And a beautiful bunch of people we have today. <laughs> Let's learn a little something about you. Midori, how about you? I'm from a little town in Iowa, and I'm a dancer and a choreographer. I teach performance arts to Kids, little kids. Little tiny kids. How old are the kids? They're like from 3 to 12. Oh, that's precious. Now, Midori is a Japanese word, and let me see if I can get this right. It Does it mean green? Am I right? I'm so impressed. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> Not too bad, huh? Okay, Paul, tell us something about you. My name's Paul Thompson. I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm 29 years old. I'm single, and I travel 100,000 miles a year um, selling women's apparel nationally for a firm here in California. <laughs> You're 29, you're single, and you have women's clothes under your arms. Samples. <laughs> Samples. Girls, 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 girls. <laughs> Honey, you're not going to get out of this studio today, believe me. All right, Kate, how about you? I'm Kate Miller. I'm from Torrance, California. I'm an apartment manager. I have seven daughters and six grandchildren. What? Yes. Seven I a, daughters? Yeah. I was a grandmother at 34. No. Yes. We you were 12 when you got married. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm originally from the Ozarks, so they marry young. Oh, well, there you go then. Yeah, yeah. the barefoot kind right, of thing exactly. and in the kitchen. I'm also a travel agent and um, a hairdresser. Great. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm glad you're here. All right, now remember I said this was the place where the glitter meets the dirt, and it's true. As a matter of fact, the more you know about the dirt, the better chance you'll have at getting the glitter. And you'll see right here in round one, and here's how it works. Okay, Midori, we have a board numbered from one to seven. Next to each number is a concealed word associated with Dudley Moore. Oh. And a concealed amount of points. <laughs> now, Midori, you pick a number and we'll reveal that word to your two opponents and to the audience. Go ahead. Four. The word is British for his nationality. Okay, now, Paul, Kate, take a look at the numbered word. You viewers can see it, too. All right, what I want both of you to do is decide if Midori will say that word in a 15-second gossip spree about Dudley Moore. And if you're right, I'll give you 50 points. So cast your votes. Okay, Paul, Kate, what do you think? We're all set. Okay, Midori, if at any time you say that word, we'll stop, award the points that word is worth, anywhere from 100 to 250 points, depending on how likely we think you are to say it. Okay, in 15 seconds. Tell me all the gossip you know about Dudley Moore. Go! He's short. He's got a big nose. He did 10 with Bo Derek. He was married to Deuce Tuesday Wells. He plays drunks. He did Arthur, Arthur on the Rocks. He owns a restaurant. He's a musician. He's a composer. He's a comedian. He's... he. Oh, you didn't say the word. The word is British. And oh. let's see how much that word was worth. 120 points. But, Midori, to ease the pain, we're going to give you five points for every word in the list that you did say. And let's take a look at the list. Good for you. Oh, you said three great. words. Bo, which is Bo Derek, who he was, uh, he did the movie uh, Ten with, Ten, the movie. He is short. And Arthur, that wonderful, wonderful movie. He actually got four words, and that's worth 20 points. Good oh, for you. Yeah. That's the way to start the game. Great. Hey, Paul, you thought she was going to say it, didn't you? Oh, I'm sorry. We can't give you points Thanks. for that. But, uh, what can I tell you? Hey, Sue. All right. <laughs> Kate, okay, you, you thought she was going to say it, too. I had confidence. What can I tell you? All right. But now, Paul, it's your turn. Okay. Pick a number from one to seven, a word associated with Farrah Fawcett. Okay. Um, seven. Okay. 
The word is beautiful. Majori, Kate, take a look at the word. Decide if Paul's going to say that in 15 seconds. Punch in. Okay, Paul, tell us everything you know about Farrah Fawcett. Go! She's beautiful. She's a... Beautiful! Good for you! Good for you! Hey, that's the way to start the first word. And let's see how much beautiful was worth. 150 points! Great! Great! Okay, let's take a look at the other words on the list. And they were Majors, Lee Majors, Ryan, Ryan O'Neill, Angels, Charlie's Angels, that wonderful poster she did, her gorgeous hair, she's an actress, and you said beautiful, and you've got 150 points. <laughs> hey, Majora, you were thrilled that he said that, weren't I, you? I thought, first word out of his mouth, magnificent, great, brilliant. Great, great, you're going to get 50 points for that. Kate, good for you, you get 50 points also. And now it's your turn, Kate, to do a little bit of gossiping. Pick a number from one to seven, a word associated with Nancy Reagan. Five. The word is red for her favorite color. Okay, guys, take a look at the word. What do you think? Okay, Kate, in 15 seconds, punch and pull. All right, in 15 seconds, tell us everything you know about Nancy Reagan. Go. Oh, she's the first lady. She's married to Ronald Reagan. She was an actress. Her name was uh, Nancy Davis. Uh, she just borrowed designer clothes. She's kind of in trouble for that. Uh, she's short. She's small. She's petite. Uh, she uh, didn't like uh, the other Regan in the White House. Uh, she's got a... Oh, you didn't say the word. The word was red. Let's oh. see how much that word was worth. 220 oh. points, of course, the red that she always wears. Yes. But we're going to give you five points for every word on the list that you did say. Let's take a look at the list. You said three words. Designer... Of course, we know she is getting in trouble for that first lady <laughs> and Ronald Reagan. Three words, 15 points added to your score, which brings you up to 65 points. Nice. Okay, now. <laughs> well, Dory, I'm sorry, we can't give you any points for that. And Paul, I'm sorry, you thought she was going to say it. All right, that's the end of round one. Let's recap the scores. We have Kate in third place, we have Midori in second, and Paul in first. Guess what, guys? We'll be back for round two of Rodeo Drive right after this. Here we are back for round two, and you'll notice everyone is seated in the order they finished the first round, with Paul first, Majori second, and Kate third. Now in the first round, we saw how well you could dish the dirt. Now we want to see how good you are at evaluating it. Paul, I'm going to start with you. I'll read you a series of statements, some of which are fact, meaning true, some of which are empty rumor, false. You simply tell me which is which. Each time you're right, I'll award you 100 points, and I'll keep reading you statements until you're wrong. When you do that, we'll move over to Midori, give her a chance until she's wrong. And if that happens, we'll go over to Kate, and we'll keep doing this until seven minutes are up. Whoever has the most points at that time wins the game, $500, and the chance to do some window shopping and eavesdropping on Rodeo Drive for thousands of dollars in cash and prizes. Okay, here we go. Paul, fact or rumor? Astronaut Neil Armstrong experienced motion sickness every time he went into space. Fact. No, oh, that's a rumor. Oh, Midori, you've got 70 points. Robin Williams taught his parrot to say, birds can't talk. <laughs> fact. That is a fact. You've got 170 points. Milton Berle appeared on the cover of the first issue of TV Guide. No, that is a rumor. It was Lucille Ball. Okay, Kate, you've got 65 points. Hervé Valenchez owns a hunting cabin made out of Lincoln Logs. Fact. No, that's a rumor. <laughs> okay. Paul, you've got 150 that's points. Right. That's oh, no, here's the opening tidbit. You remember, this one about Tiami Baker. We all love Tiami, you know. Yeah. She, one time she said to Jim, she said, you know, I'm going to take my makeup off. I'll just soak my face in a bad, serious paint thinner. But, <laughs> all right, here it is. Tammy Baker wears makeup even when she sleeps. That's a rumor. That is a fact. Oh! 
How gross. Now, that is a fact. Uh. All right, Majori, 170 points. Madonna once spent the night sleeping inside the O of the Hollywood sign. I'll say rumor. That is a rumor. <laughs> Nancy Reagan once sat in Mr. T's lap. Fat. Yes. <laughs> and she kissed him right on the head. She did that, yes. <laughs> Jesse Jackson once sat in Mr. T's lap. I'll say... Boomer. No. No, that's a fact. About two weeks after Nancy did it, they were kissing them all over the place, I guess. No, I guess he didn't kiss her, but Nancy kissed him. Okay, we're back to you, Kate, with 65 points. Evangelist Pat Robertson once told a hurricane to go someplace else, and it did. That's a fact. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was headed toward Virginia Beach, Virginia, and he prayed that it would change direction, and it did. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you've got 165 points. Fashion consultant Mr. Blackwell named Bo Derrick the best undressed woman of 1980. That's a fact. It's a rumor. Back to you, Paul. All right. Oh, here's something about B. Arthur. We all love B. Derrick. We all know B. is one of the golden girls. Someday her voice will be as low as Barry White's. <laughs> okay. B. Arthur is Norman Lear's cousin. That's a fact. That's a rumor. Majori, 370 points. When Ted Turner was a boy, his father used to charge him rent. Uh, fact. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. When he made $50 a week, his father charged him $25 a week rent. All right, now, Princess Di had a nose job in 1988. Uh, I know she was thinking about it. I'll say rumor. That is a rumor. You're exactly right. She was thinking about it. <laughs> Brooke Shields says she wants to marry a man who reminds her of her mother. I'll say fact. No, that's a rumor. <laughs> Kate, we're back to you. 165 points. Here's our George Burns questions. We love George. George is thrilled to be here. Of course, at his age, he's thrilled to be anywhere. <laughs> okay, George Burns says he wants to appear on Love Connection. True. A fact. Rumor. <laughs> it's a rumor. Paul, back to you. 150 points. Oh, Sylvester Stallone has a son named Sage Moonblood. Rumor. No, that is a fact. Majority went back to you. 570 points. Shirley MacLaine was told by a psychic that she should move to Burma and learn how to carve soap. <laughs> I'll say fact. That's a rumor. Oh. Kate, 165 points. Dustin Hoffman admits to falling asleep during a screening of Ishtar. That's a fact. That's an empty rumor. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Billy Joel wrote just the way you are for his Cocker Spaniel Rex. <laughs> That's a rumor, please. Yes, it's a rumor. <laughs> Paul Newman won his only Oscar for the movie The Color of Money. Rumor. No, that's a fact. Do you know what that means, guys? Two minutes left in the game, so let's bear down. Here we go. Back to a rumor. Midori, Paul Newman is colorblind. Fact. Yes, it is. Alex Trebek appeared as a contestant on the original Jeopardy. Fact. Rumor. Kate, 165 points. Ed McMahon once broke a hand by clapping too hard. Rumor. That is a rumor. John Johnson was starting halfback at Florida State University. Rumor. That is a rumor. Marie Osmond's real first name is Olive. Uh, fact. Yes, it is. William Shatner had a son named Kirk. Rumor. Yes. <laughs> Michael Jackson recently purchased the cemetery where William Shakespeare is buried. Fact. Rumor. Back to you, Paul. Donna Rice endorsed a line of clothing called No Excuses Jeans. Fact. Yes, it is. <laughs> karate Kid co-star Pat Morita owns a karate school. Rumor. Yes. 
Elton John owns 53 pianos. Fact. It's a rumor. That is a rumor. Back to you, Majori. Dan Rather was once a tap dancer in a USO show. Rumor. Yes. Joan Rivers was the class clown at her high school school at her high school. Fact. Rumor. Kate. Julie Andrews writes children's books under the pen name of Julie Edwards. Fact. Yes. Jay Leno had never eaten a Dorito before becoming their spokesman in commercials. That's a fact. It's a rumor. Back to you, Paul. Irma Bombeck once wrote a bestseller called If Life is a Bowl of Cherries, What Am I Doing fact. in the Pits? That is a fact. While playing Maid Marian in Robin Hood, Olivia de Havilland rode Roy Rogers. Oh, that's the end of the game. And Majority, you won the game. getting up there. Good for you. You did a great job. Kate, you were fabulous. We've got some wonderful party gifts for you backstage. Guys, you were great. Midori, come on over here. Whoa. Whoa. Woo. Oh, my gosh. That was a close one. It could have gone either way. <laughs> I thought it didn't go the other way. I <laughs> snap out of it, babe. Okay, now, listen. Listen to me. No, okay, you have to be okay, strong. Okay. 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 You've already won $500. And in just a moment, you're going to try to win everything in the shop windows on Rodeo Drive, plus the money that's currently deposited in the bank. Right now, there's $1,000 just sitting there waiting for you. But I'm going to give you a chance to deposit even more money in that bank. And here's how. I'm going to ask you a series of five questions. With each one, I'll ask you to make a choice between two names. Some, now listen to me. Okay. All right? Sometimes the correct answer will be one or the other of those names, all right? And sometimes the answer will be both. Every time you're right, we'll deposit another $200 in the bank of Rodeo Drive. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, here's your first question. Neil Simon and Mel Brooks, who wrote for Sid Caesar? Mel Brooks. Both did. Okay. Second question. Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, who wears the glasses? Yes, that's two hundred dollars. <laughs> On the waterfront and The Godfather, which one did Marlon Brando win an Oscar for? Oh, yes, that's four hundred dollars. <laughs> Karen Allen, uh, yeah, Karen Allen and Margot Kidder. Who was in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Karen Allen. Yes, that's six hundred dollars. <laughs> this is your last question. Johnny Carson and David Letterman, who once hosted a game show? Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson is correct! You got four right! That means you have 400 additional dollars deposited in the bank of Rodeo Drive. And when we come back, is it 800? So. Oh, but 800! Whatever. You're not as upset as I thought you were, honey. I'm upset. When we come back, we're going to give you a shot at winning everything on the street, plus in the stores, plus the cash in the bank, as we go window shopping and eavesdropping on Rodeo Drive. Don't go away. <laughs> the four shops in the bank of Rodeo Drive. Let's take a look and see what's inside the shops. In the gift shop today, you can pamper yourself alongside the stars at the exclusive Umberto Salon of Beverly Hills, a day of beauty specially tailored for you by Umberto for that Beverly Hills look. In the jewelry store today, we have his and her classic series diamond dial watches by Jules Jurgensen, elegantly styled. His with 20 genuine diamonds, hers with 10, the classic series by Jules Jurgensen. In the electronics store, we have Sharp's 27-inch stereo color TV with 209-channel cable-compatible tuner, on-screen display, and 21-function remote control furnished by Sharp. Today in the home shop, from the gift collection of the Michael C. Pina Company, it's a traditional tea and coffee service, an elegant gold plate with tea and coffee service, sugar bowl, creamer, and put a tray. And the bank, which today contains $1,000, plus the $800 you deposited today for a total of $1,800. Okay, Majority, here's what happens. You stand here at the first store, and as soon as the clock starts, you're going to overhear some gossip. If you can guess who's being talked about, you move on to the next store. If you get through all four stores and the bank before your time runs out, you win the money in the bank, plus everything that's on Rodeo Drive today.
Okay, take a deep breath. Are you ready? Let's do it. On your mark, get set, go. I've dated short men, but I wouldn't want to marry one. That actress, Tracy Pollan, she just married that short kid from Canada. Michael J. Fox. Yes. Sure, he has a lot of money, but is he happy? Look at his, all his headaches. He bought Eastern Airlines while they Donald were in Trump. financial trouble. Yes! It was no surprise that such a pretty girl became a movie star, although it's a good thing they changed her name. Natasha Gurdon isn't very pretty. Natasha Kinski. Unlike most child stars, she was popular in her adult life, co-starring with James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause and Warren Beatty in Splendor in the Grass. Now she we did Warren. Yes! Well, maybe she isn't difficult to understand because of her accent. Josh, Dr. She's Moore? still worth listening to. People with all kinds of sexual hang-ups and questions can... Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Maybe. She can be blood, but she's not dumb. She showed the intelligent side of Jane Mansfield when she portrayed her in the TV movie. Bonnie Anderson. As Jennifer Marlowe. Dr. Ruth <laughs> Midori, you won everything on Rodeo Drive, including the money in the bank, and that added to your $500 you won earlier means you've won a total of $4,800 in cash and prizes. <laughs> Plus, you'll be back next time, where once again it could be you and me strolling down Rodeo Drive. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our participants may receive the following. Cream X. Great ways to please with pasta and cheese. These delicious recipes in current women's magazines. Doesn't your recipe deserve cream act? Tootsie Roll Midgies. As good as you remember. Only 27 calories. Why not try some today? Tootsie Roll. As good as you remember. Ready? Ready? Would you want the juicy goodness of orange, tangerine, and lime? Open a can of Sunny Delight Florida Citrus Punch Frozen Concentrate. Rodeo Drive is a Jay Wolfer.